Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been following the series, you already will recognize what I'm about to show you. This is what we've been working on. Now, I thought it would be nice if we could change all of this to user-defined graphics, because I know a few of you in the comments want to see how to do that. I want to learn more about user-defined graphics, and then we can use the A TTR command for our collision because obviously screen strings will no longer work as soon as we start putting user defined graphics in there. So let's get into this. Right. I'm not going to go into this in great depth because I want to try and make this video as quick as possible. So to begin with, I have a little program already on the screen ready to go. I'm going to try and quickly explain it. There are other ways of doing this. Everyone's got their own preference on how they like to do it. This is the method I like to use because I find it the quickest. This is a little package which I found on the internet, which is brilliant, okay, brilliant. So in binary, all these would be zero now. You can see the zeros there on the side. We're looking at an eight by eight box, eight bits, yeah? And at the moment, they're all zeroed. If I start to fill them in, We'll see these numbers come up on the side and that's basically telling us what the first left number would be on our data statement okay so for the example that i've put up on the screen i basically did a smiley face so let's put that back in just so you can see what i'm talking about Right, so there's our smiley face. Now, if you look down the bottom, we've got data 60, 66, 165, 128, 164, 153, 60, 66, sorry, and 60. If you look on the side of our box there, you can see those numbers. So that row there is 60, that row there is 66, and so, so on. Now, like I said, I'm not going to go into how you get to those numbers in this video. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you how I do it for quickness. If you want to know more about how we get to this, those numbers, how the binary works and all that, then there are plenty more videos on the internet by other YouTube creators. So full credit to Big bad mick 2000 okay for creating this little package you can find that on the internet um if you just write in specky character there's the address there at the top uh, hopefully that will help you out so let me talk you through this we've got 500 why have i started so far down in the numbers not at number one or number 10 or, or up the top somewhere because with the data it's good practice to put it as far down or even at the end of the program as you possibly can, because when you run a, run your program, obviously it's got to read through all that, so you don't want it at the beginning of your program, at the top of your gaming loop, if you know what I mean. You want to go sub it, which is a subroutine, which we'll talk about when we incorporate this into our, our little game that we're making. So 500 B equals zero to seven. So basically one to, one to eight, okay? Because we're going zero to seven. So if you look at 540, we've got 60, 66, 165, 129, 165, 153, 66, and 60. That's eight numbers. So hence why we've got B equals 0 to 7 or 1 to 8. Read the data. So that's reading. That is reading that data in 540. Okay. So then we want to use the poke command so we need to use that poke command to basically tell it where to go where to start so we're going to start at letter a plus b b it's in our uh, loop look 500 4 b equals zero to seven so it's going to go from a it's saying going to go plus b stroke data 510 look read data 
and then it just loops that and keeps going until it's counted all of those eight numbers to give us the graphic symbol. In this case, it's our smiley face. Now, I wanted to add to that, do more, because at the moment, that's only one character. Let's say I want to add another character, so 550. We'll keep it easy. We'll just do another smiley face, but with this time, we'll make it a sad face, yeah? Make it a sad face. As you can see, as I'm filling out the squares, the numbers are being automatically calculated for us. This time we'll just put his face the other way around, like so. All right. So, going back now to our screen. So, I'm going to enter that. Okay, now obviously because we've added to it, we need to change this reading here. So if we, obviously that's doing one to eight or zero to seven. So now we're adding another eight. So eight add eight is 16. So that will become 15, the zero to 15. So. 16. Now that I've got it, we've got the capital uh, graphic A, which is cap shifts and the nine button to get the graphics up. And it was on letter B. So capital graphics B is our sad face. All right. So A, B. So that is a very simple way of doing it. Like I say, I'm not really going to go into this command bin, which is the binary. But if you're using graph paper, then you can um, you can do it this way from graph paper. So like I say, your one represents your ink, and your zero represents paper color. So if I want to know how I got to 60, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And there we go, 60. So you can do it that way if you're using graph paper. Here's a little example. So as you can see, I've drawn an 8 by 8 box on some graph paper. And I have basically have done our smiley face. And as you can see, I've used the zeros to represent our paper and the one to represent our ink and uh, if you put print in and those numbers that the, i mean the zeros and the zeros on the ones and the ones you'll end up with uh, the calculation so that's another way of doing it if you don't want to use that uh, package which should demonstrated on the internet there right so let's go and show you what i've already done all right as you can see, I have put used to find graphics in there. Okay, doing the method that I just showed you, I've created a, a wall using user defined graphics. I've got rid of the hashtags. I've put a little user defined graphic doorway at the top there. Look, my little character is now a little graphic man. As I move him, look, he uh, does a little bit of an animation, he ducks down. I've got some little robots in red going back and forth okay and we've got a graphic key at the bottom right unfortunately i'm going to wrap this video up on that because uh, we've been running for a good 12 minutes now i think and i don't want it to get too long plus i'm having difficulties again with my microphone so i do apologize i want to get that sorted and I shall see you on the next video where we will be discussing ATTR for doing collision detection with user-defined graphics. Take care of yourself and I'll see you on the next one.